let's start with the plasma. Um, can you explain how the plasma works? Certainly. Um, maybe it's best if I showed you by demonstration. Plasma is, plasma is quite a complex um, system. Um, so I'll turn you a little on. Can you see the plasma running now, Clive? Yes, yes, very clearly. I'll turn some lights off so you can see it more clearly. Just for a moment. Okay, now, most plasma systems out today rely on the carrier system to work. They use a carrier because it's easy to light a plasma using a fixed frequency. The carrier frequency is generally 3.1 megahertz, 3.3 megahertz, or 27 megahertz. Now, our problem with this is that those three frequencies don't actually target any bug. <laughs> it's actually useless. So you may have a 200 watt plasma system, but most of the power is wasted. Now our system can run at any frequency from 80 kilohertz up to around 4 megahertz. So it's got a massive, massive range. At the moment, it's running at 3.2 megahertz. Can you see the, the generator down here, Clive? Yep. Uh, okay, so perhaps you may see the, the number at the top is what I'm using as a carrier, which is the, um, the input and the modulation is on the right here. But it can be run without modulation, it's up to the user. But currently it's running at 3.2 megahertz. I'll introduce some modulation into it. So it's running at 300 hertz modulation. I'll bring that right down. Okay, that's no modulation at all. You can see the tube flashing. It's a 3 hertz modulation. So it's as easy as turning a knob or running it within a spooky software itself. You can choose any modulation you like. Okay, so we'll set it maybe at 20 hertz modulation. We'll see what the range is. So now I'm going to the carrier. The carrier is down to 511 kilohertz. So, okay. There, 100 kilohertz plasma. That's impossible until today. And so, uh, which is quite, quite impressive. Now, this is going through the um, the abilities of the tube at the moment. We're now running at three point, sorry, four point three megahertz, which again is pretty much unheard of for a system that doesn't use resonance to create the high voltage. Um, but the really interesting thing is the results. I've got this old radio here, which Luckily enough, can be tuned to the Cancer BX frequency of 1.604 megahertz, which I'll do now. Okay, so that's 160, try and get it right. I'll turn the plasma off so we can see properly. Whoa. That is now the cancer frequency, 1604 kilohertz. I'll just leave it on the table there. Can you hear the horrible noise, Clive? Yeah, yeah. Right. Now I'll turn the plasma on. I'll keep it at 20 kilohertz, sorry, 20 hertz modulation. I'll now tune the plasma to cancer. There, it's now got full control. This is the cancer frequency. If I tune the modulation to a tone that's more readily audible, isn't that beautiful? That is modulating over the cancer frequency. 
Now, many systems use 3.1 or 3.2 megahertz as a carrier, stating that's closer to the cancer frequency. What they are doing is doubling the frequency that Royal Rife originally used. So instead of 1604, he's using 3208 megahertz. Now they've, that means there will be less power applied to the cancer virus. So let, let's, let's do it by demonstration, Clive. I'll change the carrier to the 3208 MHz, and I'll show you what the result is. Now you can hear the tones, but they're not very clear. Yeah. In fact, it sounds pretty awful. You couldn't write a, a song using those sorts of tones. All right, so I turn that, hot, that radio off. Um, now, the, the point behind... I'll turn the lights back on, shall I? <laughs> Now the purpose of this experiment was to really highlight to people that yes, you can use the higher frequencies to target pathogens, which are the germs, but it's not as effective and you get wasted power. It wasn't enough power at 3.2 megahertz to remove the background noise in the radio. So you really need to target the frequency precisely. When Royal Rife cured 16 patients, of terminal cancer back in the 1920s, he used 1604 megahertz. Over time and um, a few bad decisions, people started using higher frequencies to, um, to heal people from cancer. The results weren't very impressive, um, but it seems that that's the way that we're going now, Clive. People are using 3.1, 3.3 megahertz. What sh people should be really doing is targeting directly the virus, just as Royal Rife did. Uh, so at 1604 megahertz, you heard it yourself. It sounds like a like you could part of an instrument in an orchestra. Um, people are using high frequencies, modulating with audio frequencies, in the hope that sidebands are created, which are small frequencies, and these sidebands are supposed to hit the right frequency and kill the cancer virus. Now cancer is quite hard to knock, and it needs quite a lot of power. If you're using a 200 watt plasma tube system, you're using a 3.3 megahertz carrier, and you're using an audio sideband, what you'll get is something like 2 watts of power where you want it. Now when you're if, you're, if you're unfortunate to have your house on fire, you run to the hose, you turn the hose on, you don't aim the hose at the garden in front of the house in the hope that you get a few sprinkles of water on the fire that may or may not put the fire out, you aim the hose at the fire. This is what Spooky Central does, it aims the frequencies directly at the pathogen with no wasted frequencies whatsoever. And so the full power of the tube goes to the pathogen. So we're very excited about this. Um, it's going to spin the rules totally on, on their head. Um, so we're very, very pleased.